a beautiful Thursday, June 18th in the year of 2020. I am, let's say, I guess I'm a little south of Portland. I'm headed towards uh, Beaverton. Um, today we're on a mission. On a mission to go take some photos of a building. So I don't know what this building's gonna be. Oh, I got an idea. It's a, some kind of industrial something rather. Um, and it's kind of close to the Nike facility. And um, client wants me to get a, get some of that in the shot. So, so yeah, gonna get, a, get to go to a new area explore some new stuff so anyways what's going on with you guys what's new in your world um, a lot of exciting stuff happening lately in the news <laughs> got some crazy stuff going on on lately and and you know and oh this way's better and now that way's better and it's like man like who who's to say like what is what is right and what is wrong anymore <laughs> it's crazy out there guys I'm telling you it's crazy I don't know what to think anymore about anything. So I'm going back to my roots, where which, which is uh, believe nothing I read and believe only half of what's in front of me. Then maybe I can stay safe that way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just some crazy times we're going through. Put your uh, put your thoughts in the comments below and tell me what's going through your mind and, and how you feel about the current situation and well, we're about 17 minutes away man the weather's awesome so the weather is going to change now uh, at least it looks like for the next week at least uh, we had ooh. this bike seemed like it was idling lower for some reason a minute ago I don't know it was like I came up to a stop sign and like couldn't even hear it running or feel it it's kind of weird yeah so the weather is going to gonna turn for the good we're supposed to have like 70s and touching into the 80s a little bit over the next week and we just got done with quite a bit of rain here in the Portland area for about the last week or so so maybe maybe summer's trying to poke through up here in the Pacific Northwest and it's pretty apparent it's trying today as you can see so it might be good for this weekend I don't know what I'm doing this weekend uh, I know that work is so slow right now so I'm gonna be looks like I'm gonna be working four days a week Monday through Thursday now and honestly I'm only getting three or four hours a day anyways working those days so I'm gonna have a three-day weekend <laughs> which is cool I don't know uh, like I said I don't know what my plans are so far this weekend it's Thursday I might go on the Thursday ride tonight but I don't know we'll see we'll see I can sit home and edit I got a bunch of footage to edit that I need to get done but Riding motorcycles is fun, and I tend to lean towards riding motorcycles more than editing lately. So <laughs> I don't know, but I'm sure I'll do something. I'll go on some type of journey or trip this weekend, but just not sure exactly when or where. But I need to get it back into doing some food delivery, so maybe I'll make another video on that. I've kind of been holding back a little bit because of all the riding that's been going on, and I know they're still going on in Portland, so I don't even want to get up in there in that mess and, you know, be a part of any of that I was gonna let that car in but... so I'm just kind of laying low but um, if I don't get anything planned tonight for this weekend or or tomorrow I might go do some tomorrow now what that do was peeing so we're getting close we're almost at 7900 miles Ooh, easy there hot rod Almost at 7,900 miles on the Honda CP500X, which means the 8,000 mile service interval is coming up quick. Maybe I should just kick back this weekend and do that, but oh, that only take a couple hours, if that. But I need to go out to Beaverton. Maybe I should do that now. Stop by and get my oil and stuff for the oil change. I was going to do brake pads too at the same time, so. I'm going to th throw a set of uh, EBC brake pads on this bike. Turn left onto Southwest Shopping Terrace and arrive at the destination. 
Alright, what do we got going on here? That's a fort. This is it. This is a big building. Drive around, see what's up. Looks like everybody's on lunch break. Yeah, this is a huge building. That's a trippy looking plant right there. Thinking like the only thing what I don't like about this drone is it takes a long time to get a GPS signal. And while it's waiting for that GPS signal, it'll only fly like 20 feet or something. But sometimes in the woods, it's a little, little bit of a hassle because um, you have to get above the trees to get the GPS signal. And some of the trees are higher. Get on the map. There we go. We're good. Let's do it. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. See what we got here. There you have it. Another. Right right. Oh, got some nice air on that one. All right, let's get home and get these pictures edited up and make them look all nice and pretty. So that was a good flight. I had good, good reception here. Not a lot of interference like at some of my other jobs. The other one I got to shoot, I've shot before. Um, I shot it during construction. And man, I got so much interference. And uh, I actually had to land on that one and manually input my my frequencies to get a better connection. But yeah, I, got, I had some really good, really good reception here in this area. So that was good. <laughs> So if you guys are still watching and not subscribed, you know the routine. Hit that subscribe button to help a brother out. I'm trying, oh. Okay, okay, Siri. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2020, which uh, is December 31st of this year. And you guys can all help me by subscribing to my channel. And if you're already subscribed, you guys can share my videos to introduce them to new viewers to help spread to help spread the goodness of Oregon motorcycle I guess that does it for this episode it's time to sign off so until next time folks Oregon motorcycle let's go check out the mailbox I didn't tell you guys I got a peel box now and this is my first time using it so I don't even know where it is there it is. This is definitely not all my stuff. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff for somebody else. Oh my goodness. Chester, you've got a bunch of mail, bro. Hi. This stuff was all in my, my box. It's not mine. None of it is.
I know, well, it's all bent sideways. And Come on, baby. Give me some love. Should have brought my bigger backpack. No way, dude. Oh my God. No way. Oh my God. No way, dude. Oh my God. No way. Nice, dude. Holy cow. Nice. You deserve it though. You put in a lot of time. Dude, that is nuts. Look, I got a little tripod for it. A battery, another battery, and a headband, and another clip. Dude! Oh, and an S. Oh my god, dude, I can't.